Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to some Terraria Super Modded Edition. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this uh, series yet, but I'm sure you'll figure it out by the title of the video. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, this is going to be Terraria. It's going to be a ton of mods. Uh, other little slime. I actually may not kill the slime because what I think I may do is do a certain like class playthrough, like for example, thrown weapons only or something. I think that's actually what I'm going to do is thrown weapons. Uh, but you know, specific classes like thrown weapons or melee only or ranged only, you know, whatever, right? Uh, but I think I'm going to go with thrown weapons only. And basically, as long as it says you know thrown damage on this, I can the copper short sword here it says melee damage. Thrown items don't have to be consumable, uh, but they do have to be thrown damage type. So things like the boomerang. Even though you throw them, they're still considered melee damage, I believe. Although, they, at least in vanilla, they, that could be changed in the mods, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, if you want a list of all the mods, just check down in the description below, uh, and everything will be there for you. Uh, so, if I'm going to be doing thrown weapons, that means I cannot kill any enemies with anything other than throwing weapons. So it's going to be a little bit rough, uh, but I'm just going to have to avoid killing things. I mean, I guess, I mean, if the guide kills something, I can't, I can't stop the guide from killing enemies. You know, it's not like I can sort of provoke them into killing them or anything, you know, that would just be wrong. <laughs> okay. What? The guy just running away. Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna to, well, nope, nope. You can't, you can't trick me into killing you. You, that's not allowed. Nope, I tried to jump right there and it didn't. Oh, okay. And I'm getting confused. Awesome. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh, this is also an expert mode, so... <laughs> the uh, beginning's gonna be a little bit rough. I have played through with most of these mods on expert mode before, and ooh, nice shot, guide. And it does get a little bit easier as time goes on, because some of the mods add some pretty pretty good items. I wouldn't say like too easy or anything, because you definitely have to earn it. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna gather some resources and get a a little safe hut made, uh, and see what I can make with these these this copper ore. Alright. <laughs> Got a little uh little slime down there keeping me company. Let's see what I can make here out of this wood. Right, so wooden javelins. Uh so a mod that I have, well one of one of many, is a mod called Louis AFK, and what that basically allows me to do is it makes a throwing playthrough much I don't wanna say easier, but much less of a uh a pain. Especially early on. Oh jeez, that slime is getting awfully close to uh it would have hurt me. Let me just... Oh, hold on. Oh god. Uh, anyways, uh, if I can explain what the mod's doing before I get killed. Uh, it... One, one of the many things it does is it... makes it so that you only need 999 of most thrown items in order to have infinite of them, basically. So you still have to have enough resources to make a lot of them. Oh my god. Please go away. And another... Sl oh my god. <laughs> But it doesn't, you know, it's it, it's not too OP, I don't think. Because, again, you do have to have enough resources so that you can make quite a lot of, of the item. So, I actually think I can do that right now with the wooden the wooden javelins, because at 10 each... Let me see here. Let's make a thousand. Like so. I can just go ahead and drop that. Yeah, so see, now I have these wooden javelins, which I'll show off in just a second. Actually, let me, let me clear out these blue slimes down here first. They're not that good. They do 10 damage, which seems pretty good, but they're, they they fire very slowly. They don't pierce enemies, I don't think. Some of the some of the later javelins do, I know that much. And they have a very short range. They they arc very quickly. Oh my god, please, please just die. Can I just go down here? Oh, this might have been a mistake. I'm not on hardcore or anything, so it doesn't really matter if I die, but I'd rather not die in the first episode. Please go away. Let's die. Thank you. <laughs> get a little, little sketchy there. Now I have to figure out how to get out of here without dying. Can I, can, I can't throw out there. Okay, I just have to wait for them to, to hop over that little gap. Oh, okay, hold on. How's my chance? Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, they do, they do pierce. Okay, they pierce one time. And then they pop on the uh, the second enemy they hit, or if they hit terrain, of course. There's a little heart. Give me that. But you can see the... Actually, I, these may have been buffed. I'm not 
100% sure, but you can see that they they do arc pretty sharply. But it, it's kind of difficult to, like, if I wanted to hit an enemy at the edge of the screen there, I have to, like, aim up and kind of figure out how long it's going to take to get there and whatnot. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So now I effectively have infinite throwing javelins, so... And it does work for ammunition as well, like arrows. Uh, although I'm not going to be... I mean, I'm not even playing a ranged playthrough, I'm just going to be using throwing. Um, but, like, you know, you can technically abuse the system by having infinite arrows and then firing, like, at the ground or something and picking up arrows and then selling them for, like, infinite money. But, A, that's not very efficient. <laughs> and there are many, uh, many more efficient ways of farming money than that. And B, that's kind of cheating anyways, so. If there, if I'm ever in a scenario where throwing items like shurikens, right? Shurikens you can get off the ground again, uh, sometimes when they hit. Uh, I'm not, I'm gonna basically treat them as if I didn't have them, so that if I ever want to get rid of the weapon, I'll just store them all, not sell them or anything. Alright. Uh, that's enough talking. Ooh, Martyr Small Slime. I think that means it'll, it'll drop a little grenade when it dies. Which is kind of annoying. But at least it, you, you get a little bit of time. Yeah, you see that? Oh, well, it's covered by the present now. But yeah, alright. Let me let me get a little, little house set up. And we'll get our get our guide tucked away. All right, it is now becoming day again in Terraria. <laughs> uh, the night set in just as I was starting to build my home or my little house. So I basically just ended up making a few tiny little rooms. They're pretty sad. Definitely not permanent. Uh, but I just built some extra just in case we get some more NPCs. Just because it was nighttime and I didn't want to go out and fight all the zombies. Because I, I need more wood. But uh, I didn't want to have to kill zombies while I chop trees. Because it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll see if we can get like a... Actually, I don't know if any NPCs even will move in. We almost have enough silver to get the merchant. I think the merchant requires like 50 silver. You'd have 50 silver on you and then you'll be like, Oh hey, you got money. I'll take it. Got it here, slime ball. Uh, but yeah, as far as, like, NPC housing and stuff, uh, let me know what you guys want. I don't know if I want to do, like, you know, I don't know, like a classic, like, NPC prison type thing where they're just in a bunch of boxes that are actually even smaller than what's down there. Uh, because there are things that we can make with, I think it's the Louis AFK mod, uh, that allow us to just basically spam very tiny NPC housing that's already furnished. Well, not tech not actually furnished, but has meets the furnished requirement for NPCs to move in. Uh, or if I should give them like actual houses and stuff. Uh, I'm not the best builder, I'm certainly not the most creative person in the world, but you know, if that's something you want to see me at least attempt, <laughs> uh, just let me know down in the comment section below. Anyways, what I want to do now is get exploring, because there are all kinds of goodies we can find on the surface and or in underground caves. Uh, I believe... Hold on. Yeah, there's a... What looks to be a, an entrance to a cave over to our left here. So let's go check that out. There are tons of tall trees here, which is really nice. So I want to see if there's anything down here. It may stop, or it may continue on. Looks like... Oh, no, hold on. Looks like there may be a cavern down there. Let's go ahead and tunnel through here. Put down the torch. Flay the cook has arrived. There's actually a couple cooks with my mods, which is interesting, but... This almost looks like it's part of the, um, like a, like a shrine. Sometimes in your world you'll find little shrines that are shaped like, I don't know, a little bean or something with a rock in the middle that all have a sword in it, and that's how you get our callus if you're really lucky. Although with this, we can actually get our callus relatively easily. Uh, it'll, it just requires a bit of grinding. Uh, yeah, it looks like this didn't really go anywhere, unless... Yeah, there's... I don't see any caverns right there, so let's go ahead and just hop back out. Boop, boop. Alright, cool. Anyways, I shall continue exploring the surface, and if I find a decent cave system, I will cut back. Oh, hey. Nature tree. But no... Or not nature tree. Tree of life? I don't I don't remember what they're called. But it doesn't, it doesn't have the, the root system, so no, no free loots from that. Oh, 
Ooh, what have we got here? We got chests. Oh, no chests. Looks like we got some cool terrain generation going on here, though. Ah, yes, excellent. A tree with a, a root system we can go and potentially exploit. I don't know what mod this enemy is from. Ah, yeah, once once I get back to base, I'll go over what what modded items I have. I don't recall the item or the use for all of them, but I'll go over what I do know. <laughs> Again, I'm not 100% familiar with all these mods, so it'll be a learning experience for me, and hope, you know, maybe even you, if you are not familiar with the mods as well. Alright, what have we got in here? Leaf wand, living wood wand. Oh, sweet, a living loom. That's basically the only thing I really wanted from here. Just because we can craft special things on this, and they're kind of rare. And you can get them without finding them in a tree with some of these mods, but it's, uh, it takes a while. It's nice just to find one early on. Alright, so the merchants showed up right here. Oh god. Showed up right here. I'm not quite sure why. I do want those shurikens. I'm not sure why he showed up, because we already have three NPC houses down here, and they're already all filled, and so I'm not sure why the merchant decided to show up when there's no house for him to, to sit in. Oh my god. <laughs> Platforming is hard. Can I get up there? There we go. Uh, but, yeah, I guess I'll check it out when I go back to base. Give me, give me the shurikens. But anyways, the reason why I decided to cut back is because, looky here, there seems to be a little cave. Although I think it's pretty much the short of it, now that I think about it, so. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just having no luck. Well, I shouldn't say no luck, because we found that tree. No luck with caves. Why go splunkin'? And we're next to a desert, which actually is a little bit dangerous for our current gear level. Because we we just have wood armor and some wimpy wooden javelins. We definitely cannot oh my just, just get up there. Cannot cope with what the what the desert wants to throw at us right now. Maybe once we get some metal armor, we'll be good. Alright, I'm gonna head back to base now. If I can get up there. Alright, so we're back at base now. I'm not sure why the guide hasn't moved down into his house yet. I'm gonna go ahead and wall this off. Yeah, I'm not sure why the merchant moved in, because as you can see, those three rooms all taken. So I guess we'll just have to figure something out for him at some point. I'm not too worried, though. Alright, so let me just go over some of the items I have right now. Uh, this Revengeance is from the Calamity mod. It just makes the game super hard. Well, I mean, it does make the game harder, but it, it changes things a little bit. Uh, I'm not I'm probably not going to use this, at least not yet, maybe once uh, once you get a bit further in the game, but not right off the bat. Uh, Mutant's Gift, this is from the Fargo's Mutant mod, it just, it's, it's for masochist mode, and again, that's just something that makes the game a little bit harder, it makes bosses sometimes just randomly summon, like, during their respective times, like sometimes the Eye of Cthulhu will spawn at night, there's a higher chance for just spawn during a blood moon, which I think it can do anyways, but I think this increases the chance of it, or makes it harder or something. Leon Keystone's a material. Uh, a bunch of crafting materials, I'm not going to go over everything. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much all the important stuff. Uh, let me talk to... Oh, I don't need to talk to anyone. I want to open my handy-dandy recipe browser here. And throw in these Wolfram shards and see what I can make out of this. An anvil. Looks like it can be can be made into many different sets and a throwing weapon. Makes fifty, so you would need twenty shards 
20 Wolfram shards to make a thousand of those. And we seem to get those from the, uh, those little, like, roly-poly, like, tank-looking things. I don't remember what they're called. The Wolfram drones or whatever. So we can't do that yet. But I guess I'll hold on to them for now. It's, it, it's, it's neat, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and throw down this living loom. I'll just throw it down anywhere. How about right there? There you go. Well, it's like there's stuff we, some stuff we can already make out of it, although I think this is all just... Yeah, living wood furniture. Although we can convert different log types here, which is pretty cool. So we could get... Uh, can we get pearl wood? No, we can't get pearl wood this early, I guess. We can get pretty much everything else. But I think that is going to do it for a first episode. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's almost 3.30 in the morning for me, and I am super tired. Uh, so I just want to get this video out there, get some, some first impressions and feedback, and yeah. So anyways, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video and want to see more Terraria Super modded, uh, please leave a like on, on this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.